everyone. I am Dr. Bedoyan. And I'm Dr. Lee, and we are first year co fellows at the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Today, we will be discussing a group of genetic liver diseases that present in childhood called progressive familial intrahepatic cholestasis, or PFIC. PFIC is a collection of rare inherited disorders due to defects in the secretion of bile. They are caused by changes in our DNA that encode genes. These genes make proteins that are needed to get rid of bile from the liver. First, it's important to understand what bile is and its role in our bodies. Bile is a solution that is produced and secreted by the liver. It is made up of cholesterol, electrolytes, water, and bile salts, as well as a few other components. It is made by hepatocytes, which are the main type of cells in the liver. If you look at figure one, once the bile is made, it is secreted into small bile ducts called bile cannuliculi. This bile flows into larger and larger ducts, eventually exiting out of the liver and getting stored in the gallbladder. Then when we eat, hormones are released that stimulate the gallbladder to contract and release this bile into our intestines. In our intestines, this bile helps us absorb fats and vitamins that we need. So going back to PFIC, the hepatocytes need certain protein channels to help move bile from inside the cell into the bile canaliculi. In PFIC, these transporters are defective. There are several different types of PFIC, but the most common are PFIC1, PFIC2, and PFIC3. PFIC1 is associated with a defect in the protein FIC1. PFIC2 is caused by defects in the transporter called BCEP. And lastly, PFIC3 causes a defect in a protein called MDR3. The end result of all these types of PFIC is the buildup of bile in the hepatocytes because they cannot get out of the liver cells, and this causes what is known as cholestasis. In pediatric patients, symptoms can present within the first couple of months of life. Infants may become more jaundiced, develop poor weight gain and growth failure, as well as itchiness from the irritation of the buildup of bile. Over time, liver damage can make the liver very stiff and fibrotic, which can make it difficult for blood to continue flowing through, leading to the, the, the development of portal hypertension. Different lab abnormalities on blood tests can clue you in about these diseases. A liver biopsy and genetic testing can help confirm the diagnosis. Imaging studies like an ultrasound, a CT scan, and an MRI can assess the anatomy and structure of the liver and biliary system. A variety of treatments exist that focus on minimizing growth failure and decreasing discomfort. Supplementing vitamins may, that may be deficient is important. One of the newest medications that we have to treat PFIC are a class of medications called ileal bile acid transporters, or IBAT inhibitors. This medication is sold under the brand name Bilve. It acts to block the reabsorption of bile by the small intestine, essentially helping the body get rid of more bile. Other me medications can be helpful in decreasing the severe itchiness associated with PFIC. Different surgical treatments, including a biliary diversion, which helps route bile away from the liver and gallbladder, can help slow down disease progression. However, itchiness and liver damage still means that some patients will eventually need a liver transplant. Thankfully, survival rates for liver transplants to treat PFIC are excellent. Well, we hope this presentation was helpful in understanding PFIC.